right now we are in the month of Elul. Mm. It's called the month of Teshuvah. Yes. Teshuvah I means love this. To, the, return. to return. Yeah, Remember Malachi it. says, yep. return, return unto me, Teshuvah mm. unto me, yep. and I will return yes. to you. Amen. If there's ever been a time mm. that we as Come Americans, on. as the world, world. needs to return yep. to God, it's right now. Yes. Our, 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 every day, mm. the news is full of Bible prophecy that looks negative, but we're going to tell you it's a positive thing. So let me read this real quick. It says in Numbers 10, 9, when you go to war in the land against the enemy who oppresses you, then you shall sound an alarm, the shofar, with the trumpet, and you will be remembered when you blow the shofar. The weapons of our, I don't want to get into this today, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The the blowing of the shofar is a spiritual secret that God is revealing in these end times. When you were sick, when Lion was sick, I was would blow the shofar. Amen. During the month of Elul, Teshuvah, yeah. I will blow the shofar in our house outside yeah. several times. I blow it for our family. Yep. I blow it for our city. I blow it for our nation. Yep. I blow it for you. Absolutely. Because watch what he says. You will be remembered before the Lord your God. When you blow this. Yeah. I love that. When you sound this alarm, you will be saved from your enemies. Come on. We Hello? lay hands on the sick because yes. God says lay hands on the sick. Yeah. We blow the shofar, especially during yeah. the time of Elul right now. And yeah. I'll tell you why in a moment. Verse 10. Also in the day, here's the second reason we blow the shofar. Yeah. Also in the day of your gladness. Mm-hmm. In your appointed Moedim feast, yeah, yeah. in your appointed feast, right. at the beginning of your months, you shall blow the shofar, the trumpet, over your offering and over your sacri- your burnt offering and your sacrifice. That We don't do burnt offerings, we don't do sacrifices, but we do three times a year, come before the Lord and yeah. not come empty-handed. We bring Absolutely. a first fruit offering on Passover, yeah. we bring a first fruit offering on Shavuot, Pentecost, yeah. we bring a first fruit offering that's coming, yeah. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Feast of Tabernacles. You shall br- uh, blow it over your peace offering and they shall be a memorial for you before your God. Mm. I am the Lord your God. In other words, God is saying, I'm the one who is saying this. Amen.